Okay, everyone, I think I have a little bit of progress on running the, the NABU and simulating the, uh, the NABU network adapter. So what I have here is a program that I was able to get from um, York University's museum. And this uh, program doesn't require any iOS, any operating system. It'll talk to the hardware directly. So they compiled it, sent it over to me, and um, take a quick look at it here. There's a, there's a header with the file size. Um, there's information about the tier and channel. And then at the very end here is a checksum. So we believe, because you know, um, they're, they're having some, they're looking through some of their code to figure out what it was that they had done in the past. We believe that the checksum calculation might be correct. Uh, the header, however, is kind of a mystery, but the big trouble I think we're having right now with the, uh, the compile is we're not sure if the loading address is correct. So what I've been able to do at this point is, um, given from where we were before, okay, so I just wanna continue on here, is that I'm actually sending over the file now. And because the file segment to execute is the wrong, play, wrong memory address, I believe what we're experiencing is the NABU rebooting because it's getting the information into the wrong spot. So here, let's, uh, let's select our, our file here, and then we'll get the emulator running. I've got the NABU here, power up. I'll show you what happens. Okay, so she boots up, and you can hear a couple beeps. And it's kind of strange the way the NABU um, sends a, a message saying, you know, hello, and then the network adapter responds, and that takes a bit. Um, sometimes this happens like loops two or three times. Okay, so the file was sent, and here it is here, this is the pack file. And this is essentially replacing the request for the main menu. So we can see here, we got our please wait loading. And the NABU responds with a couple 83s, which is pretty much just a, hey, NA, are you there? And then it reboots. And now it just keeps beeping. And you can, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but the logo flickers every now and then. You see that? So when it rebooted, it garbled and everything is as normal. So I'm not sure if if we sent the pack file, it tried to execute, and then now it's in this infinite loop. Because generally when it's in a loop, what it'll do is it'll keep prompting and say, hey, network adapter, are you there? It'll keep sending these X 83s, right? These hex 83 values. And we see here, that's how it starts. That's how the whole process starts. So it stopped sending these um, hex 83 values on the reboot, which means I would believe that it's got some code in it now, which we gave it, and it's trying to run that code and it just keeps rebooting over and over and over again. So we might need to just figure out what address the, uh, the sample program needs to run at. Okay, that might be all we need. Now we don't have an operating system, so we won't be able to talk to uh, any CPM calls or anything at this point, but we technically should be able to talk directly to the hardware like this is doing here. So we have here the addresses for the VDP and the keyboard to be able to re retrieve some keyboard data. So we haven't given up yet.